All right, here it is. Time for the final chapter. I'm going to be very sad when this when this is over because I am really enjoying this. This is just absolutely fantastic. This is Clank Catacombs, chapter six here, the final chapter in the solo campaign on the Dire Wolf Digital Games Room app. And I've got a little bit of housekeeping to get out of the way here. Number one, I screwed up the app. So when I was I was I was doing something, and I don't remember what I was looking for. Oh, I was trying to get screenshots to send to Dire Wolf of the the weird campaign what was it, campaign four or chapter four where you, the two different starting things. So of course I created a new campaign, zipped through it to get there, and when I went to go close it and delete the campaign, I deleted the one we've been playing. So I had to create it again and then just like skip through the options and, and try to pick as best I could. And I noticed that my score was a touch lower on some, uh, you know, like it would give me a C minus instead of a C, so whatever that's all about. But the only concern, of course, now is going to be if at the end of this it gives me a score based on time, that's going to be wildly out of whack. Or it'll say, like, you know, this much playtime, gone, right? That's not going to be accurate either. So there's that. Number two, um, over, uh, I was going to say, like, over the weekend, but like three, four days ago, uh, during the Clank Legacy 2 Darkest Magic Kickstarter campaign, Dire Wolf announced there's going to be a Clank Digital, which is... Awesome, A, B, they had better put in the expansions, and C, I still love this. I would still, like, I hope that that doesn't mean that we're never going to see anything else for this app. You know, that that would be a real shame. Most I mean, I just have to come to terms that that's reality. Um, and then the other thing is, they did get back to me about the starting tile on that thing, right? What The thing that started this whole thing. So they emailed me a picture, and it turns out we did choose correctly in Chapter 4 where to start. This is the picture I received from them, which, it's funny, this makes me think they're using Tabletop Simulator or something, I don't know. But whatever they've got here does not match up with the clank you and I know. Because first of all, look at the back of a real clank, like real clank, like, you know, a, a, a retail copy of clank. The back of the depth tiles does not look like what they've got, which is which is wild. Uh, that's one. And two, look at the floor of the way shrines. They look, you know, way different, which is which is just crazy to me. But anyway, it was pretty cool. They were able to get back to me and tell me that, you know, that's where you're supposed to start. Uh, so I updated the, the video and, uh, you know, if anybody sees that, they'll know where to start if they have the weird same discrepancy we ran into. All right, let's get going here. Chapter six, the villain. With a snap, the world bent around you. Whatever the wizard had done to you, you were hurtling towards someplace new. After regaining your bearings at this new location, you recognize it as the Viscountess's lair below the Capitol building. But it was all mixed up. The rooms had shifted since last time. So here we go. Return the three portal tile to the box. That's the one that has, you know, those cool, crazy three tiles on it here. So this one's not going to be in this at all. Um, set the map up as such. We, have, we start with a collapsed tile. The haunted cave tile in the center there cannot be collapsed or rotated. Place the five and your little meeple in the middle there. Um, then it wants you to take the layer, the one I'm fond of calling the pit, <laughs> the layer, and put it in the middle, right? So you're gonna have two groups of six and a group of three left over. Shuffle it in with the group of three. That becomes your middle pile. So we need to get 10 tiles deep as there are no safe tiles in this either. Yikes. Place three of your cubes and three of your rival's cubes in the clank area. Place one ghost cube, so we've got that all set up as well. The rage track starts one bit higher than just on the two-player mark. And then there's, you know, a selection of cards here. So we have a skeleton, a skeleton priest, a floating skull, which rules, and a spectral rider. And then, oh yeah, and this is wild. Okay, so this says set aside all seven gem cards, shuffle them to create a gem deck. So that's what this is up here. I've got, this should be seven, I guess, cards right here, all shuffled up. And these should be all, all of the gems plucked out of this deck here. And, and this time I'm going to do everything I can to try to not move my, <laughs> my, my hand here. Because I put it over here and I trashed some cards, but then I took cards off here to trash and I put them in my discard last time. Oi. All right, so there's that. Uh, set aside these guys. So they're still living where they have been this entire campaign off to the side here over on our little uh, our little tracker sheet. They've just been piled up in the corner right here. So I don't know. They're still set aside. Not quite sure what they want from us. Chapter start. Here we go. You were in one of the haunted chambers, but it now had a gaping hole with circling ghosts. Many of the adjoining rooms were laboratories. Could the labs be connected to the stolen artifacts? You needed to finally find the dragon stone. You had a feeling it was down here. 
Uh, it's in the Viscountess. Each time you gain a manor or a manor, a major or minor secret, you may reveal the top card of the gem deck. You may buy it that turn if you reveal a gem and do not buy it that turn, discard it. Okay. Portals are locked at the beginning of the game. You cannot use portals until you've unlocked them. Okay. Bonus goals. This is your last chance to complete extras for a better grade. Escaping with extra health and a d extra health and a deck full of eye of gems will also give you bonus. How does it know how much health I have? It never asked me that before. Uh, let's see here. Remember, the haunted cave tile cannot be collapsed or rotated. You will need to return to the haunted cave tile later. So we have to make sure that we're not collapsing stuff to to block us from this center tile. And I guess the big thing is the major and minor secrets. We're going to have to come up with a good way to remember that they're tied to the gem deck here. Okay, and no portals. All right, what have we got? Steal two artifacts. What kind of insanity is this? Move on to the layer tile, which we know is 10 deep, and acquire a gem. Spend two on a two skill on a tile with a portal. Escape with health remaining. Acquire and keep... How do you escape this nightmare? Acquire and keep gems in your deck. Oh, fascinating. So we have to be on our game here. Okay, well, here's a quick look at what we've done here. So we've got our gem deck up here. We've got our setup cubes here with the ghost cube because we're starting in one. We're starting on one up from the rage track. We pulled these cubes, uh, cubes cards out as requested. We've got uh, the dragon eggs over there pulled out as requested. And all of these tiles are not, as far as I can tell, in this at all. So we have no safe tiles, and this, this three-portal tile is out of here. And I think with that, we're ready to get started. Let's uh, let's just uh, do a quick check of everything. Oh, and i got to shuffle my cards, too. Um, I've already got the dungeon row out here, too. So let's see here. We have Robbery, Smash and Grab, Rebel Thief, The Bandit, Shadow Walk, and Swindle. Man, those are a bunch of great cards to start the game with. Too bad I'm not going to be able to afford much at all off the start here. So, oh, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, get started in just a second here. All right, party people, let's get this started. A little bit of cleanup needed to be done here. Uh, I had purple cubes in my red cube pile. No lock picks, just some silly things. So I think everything looks good. We are ready to go. I've got a freshly shuffled deck of our 10 best cards that we're going to have the whole game. Let's see what we've got here. <laughs> so we are going to start out with a stumble and three burgles. So I already don't like adding four cubes to this pile. Three stumbles is going, or uh, burgles is going to afford us four. Oh, do we start with a bandit? Huh? We could take a bandit right away on turn four, which is kind of nice. I like it. It does give us a boot that we don't have and a sword. So let's just go this way. Why not? Right? Let's see how how bad could it be. Let's see what we find. Oh dear. Um. <clears throat> well. We could go like so. Now remember, one of the things that we need to do here is... Yeah, we have a lot to do. We, we, we need to prioritize getting a backpack, apparently, because we need two artifacts. But this also says... Oh, and you know, eh, well... We can spend two skill points on that tile, even, because it does have a portal... Okay, so we, we have some we have we have our work cut out for us really here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna cover up this portal because it's not active. Is this the configuration I want though? I don't know. I don't know. We don't have enough money, enough skill points yet to buy these gems, so I kind of want to not waste a lock pick on something like this over here. Um you know, until we have a, a, a lot of skill points, because these gems cost four, five, and six. There's three fours, two fives, and two sixes. So, <clears throat> unless we could somehow... Well, we can't do it now, right? Because we used our four for that. So, yeah, we're kind of out. That's no good. Yeah, ooh, wow. This does not roll well, does it? I guess... Hmm. Uh, we don't have any money for the store. I guess maybe we just come in here for now, and we call that good enough. Okay, and the app is going to tell us to burn nothing. Yeah, as, okay. That just seems to be the way turn one goes. And sudden, oh no, each player alone on a square must rotate 
that tile to a new orientation. So all that planning. <sighs> well, <laughs> maybe that's not so bad. Maybe, maybe we can turn it like this so we can hit a way shrine and get a little bit of cash going. Because again, we need to hit a market and buy a backpack, right? We definitely need to make that happen. So let's see here. We have, well, we're going to have two boots. We know this. We know we're going to have two boots. So maybe, well, we know we're not going to have any swords either. Maybe we want it like that, right? That's certainly new. But since we're going to have two boots and we, we need to explore because we need to get down to the lair tile, right? So let's let's do this. Okay, so we have a stumble, of course. We're going to throw a stumble in here. There's, there's that. And then we have two boots and three skill points. Ooh, sudden movement might be the thing. Okay, so let's go over here. One... Oh no. Well... Gosh, I feel like this is terrible. We could go sit on a seven artifact. Huh, I'm not sure. I mean, the artifact is coming out either way. I'm just not sure that I care enough to want it. We could go... Gosh, and then yeah, if we, if we go there, then we're stuck on it. If we go this way, it costs us a lockpick for absolutely nothing. So perhaps, maybe we just go here and draw a thing. And, you know, even though we, we can pass on the gem, we don't have to buy a gem card, or we don't, we, we, you know, it's not mandatory. Oh, look at that, a lockpick. Just what the doctor ordered. We're going to need a lot of those, I think. Let's take a lockpick. And then, so now we have four. So that was both boots, because we're in a crystal cave now. So we have three points left. Do we take, yeah, gosh, I guess we have to take sudden movement for three, right? Ooh, wait a minute. There's a rebel thief out here too, which is take a lock pick and draw a card if I get another companion. Maybe we take that. Let's take that instead, I think. Watch, this is where sudden movement... God, and shadow walk is out there too. All oh, good cards for starting. Let's see what we blow up. Smash and grab and robbery. I would really like to have robbery. That's a, that's a decent card. That is a decent card. Okay, so smash and grab and robbery are out. Now we gotta fill up three. I bet, you know, we're gonna die here real soon. We're gonna be drawing a lot of cubes out of here, right? Four, three, just three cubes. Uh-oh, rotate each uh, tile 180 degrees. There's another shadow walk and a dragon. So we have to turn this zoop, this way. Boy, this dungeon is just not gonna let me lay out any tile the way I want, is it? It's gonna tell me what to do. Okay, three. <clears throat> yep. All right. Gotta mix these bad boys up real nice. One, two, I think that's three. Ah, oh, two of mine, are you kidding me? <laughs> of course. What a start. All right. Well, here we, ooh, 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 ooh. So we have, oh gosh, but now this is way over here. Where's the room? Oh, that's way over there now. <laughs> and I have one boot. No sword. See, we have enough to buy a gem. Well, most of them, right? It's four, five, and six. So if we pulled a six out of here, I'd be really angry. So, okay, so keeping that in mind, let's just use our one boot to move down that way. We have to keep exploring. What is this nightmare? Ooh, see, I like it when rooms show up like this, where you can where you can do this and get basically two for the price of one. The downside is is that I don't want. That's a book. I need a. Dang. Well, let's connect it like that. And then we're gonna take the 12, that's not so low. And with five points, what do we buy? What do we buy? Well, let's see here. We could take, boy, we could take both shadow walks. <laughs> Although I think I'm gonna take sudden movement and one shadow walk for our five points. All right, so that's done. Let's see what the app says to do. Ah, Shadow Walk and Animated Wall. Okay, coming at ya. We have a sneak attack. Ooh, Pillage. That's a fun one as well. The Charlatan. 
Ah, and another dragon, the Ogre Merchant. Three more cubes. Is this game just going to end, like, real fast? Going to kill me right out of the gate? <laughs> All right, there's three of those. The app is done, and I need some cards. I know I draw my cards in the wrong order most of the time. Two stumbles. They should be before the dungeon row comes out. Not that it usually matters. Okay, so this is an awful hand. That's all we have. Two boots and a sword, huh? Well, let's go... You know what? Let's kick this off. Let's do it. Let's go one boot in here and then one boot out of there. There's our little thing, our little, our little uh, lock pick. We're going to take the 12 and let's see... Steel artifacts. You felt strange picking up this artifact. You'd stolen dozens of these, but this felt different. Here, uh, you here to take care of the dragon lady? A voice shocked you from your thoughts. A rugged man stood there, sword in hand. We spent so long trying to keep these out of the wrong hands, and you were handing her artifacts the whole time. You could convince him to help you or search this room for valuables. Acquire a mercenary or two gold. Let's take the mercenary. We don't have any swords but the one, right? I'll take a free mercenary. Well, I can buy a mercenary this round too. How funny, because that's all we have is two points, right? So I've got our mercenary here in my discard pile. Our That's one boot, two boots. We may as well just come back. Oh, you know what? We can come into, into the crystal cave and heal. May as well, right? All right. And then, uh, yeah, two points. What do we buy with two points? We buy pillage. We get some more, we get some more swords here. So now we have, you know, five swords. That's That's okay. It's better than what we had. We don't have enough cards. All right, let's see. Well, okay, so that was weird. We stole an artifact, but, but, but now we need a backpack. And now... You know what? One, two, three, four, five. You know what? I think I'm changing my, my tune on the mercenary. I think I'm going to take the two gold instead. I really think that... If we come back here, we can hit those two things for three gold. There's one here. That would give us six, plus what we have is eight. That gets us a market, right? That gets us an item from the market, which is a backpack, which is, you know, what we need, rather than just having a bunch of swords for no reason. Okay, so we lost Swindle and the Ogre Merchant. We got a light stick. Another light stick. Gosh, in the underground river. I, you know, if you could just stop beating on me, game, it would be pretty great. Okay, so we have two, five, and we have to draw three more cubes out of the bag once again. Ah, a little bit of everybody this time. Okay. What's up, Max? <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got here. We have a Burgle, Sudden Movement, what is this? Rebel Thief, take a lockpick, ooh, and we have the Bandit, which means, boom, look at that. So we get a lockpick back. If you have another companion in your area, draw a card. We do, we got a Burgle. Well, that also gives us four, five points and three boots. So, ooh, this is incredibly tempting. Okay. Three boots. Can we? Is there any 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 feasible way? No, there's not. All right, we're gonna have to go exploring then. So we got one sword. Let's come down. Let's go one boot. Ah, crud. There's a ghost ghost tile. Oh, see another one of these. Oh wow, I could do this. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna do this. Okay, can we all see this? Yeah, it's over here. So we're gonna draw a minor secret. Dun, 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 dun. Another lockpick. <laughs> okay, I don't know how many of those are in there, but uh, we have five lockpicks now. All right, and now we are allowed to reveal, of course, the one I can't afford. All right, so that's out. Jeez. Unbelievable. It says discard it, right? Yeah, okay. So we don't have to buy it. We can't buy it. We only have three, four, five points. Gosh, that's a that's lame. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. 
I would love to know what happens when we acquire a gem, but this isn't going to tell us. Okay, so that is, that's one boot and we have three to go. So now we can come up here. Uh oh, I'm making a really messed up shaped dungeon here for us, aren't I? All right, let's see what this says here. This this will put us in a market. We only have $2, though. We really need more money. Okay, if we're coming up this way. Oh, interesting. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's go here for boot number two. We have one more boot, but we can lockpick the major secret. Not only is it a major secret, but we get to draw from, from here again. And maybe we can, I mean, there's only one six in there now. I would have had to have been really lucky to shuffle it up to the top, or both of them. Ooh, I like, I'm gonna need that, I'm sure. Okay, we can save the double heal for later. Um, let's draw another card off the gem pile. Right, see this costs four. So I am all about buying this thing now, right? So we have one skill point. So let's buy this gem card, plus two clank on acquire. And, where is it? Acquire a gem. This was just a common gem, like many you'd stolen before, but it had a power to it. You could feel it pulling at you, tugging on your very soul. Faces swirled in the gem's depths, and you could hear a cacophony of voices. You even thought you recognized some of them. Unfortunately, this was not the dragon stone. Okay, great. All right, well, we have one more boot so we can go up here and we've spent all of our points and everything that's it that's that was that was the big turn we got a gem that does nothing okay and portals were still locked uh oh man i wanted to buy the locked trunk because that lets us take a major secret and the charlatan's fantastic uh rotate a tile 180 degrees and plus one clank for everybody for everybody Oh my goodness. So much clank in that bag of, is mine. What I need to do... Ooh, sneak attack is still out here. I gotta buy that. I gotta buy sneak attack. Can I do it? Oh, thank goodness. Just barely, too. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're gonna stumble. We're gonna throw one in there. We are going to spend all three of our points on sneak attack, which gives us a single sword, too. Um, guess... We gotta remember that, we have two boots, so let's come down. Uh, I wanna go over here because then I start getting squished in here, right? How far over can I move? Oh, maybe not, maybe we can just barely make it. Can we fit another tile on the end of this over here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it fits, good deal. Ooh, there's another artifact, this is a 15. Oh, and we have a sword, so may as well, right? No harm in that. We're right there. Into a crystal cave. Hmm. Well, um, yeah, I mean, that's the turn. <laughs> There's not much else I can do. We need... Oh, we don't have a backpack. Yeah, we're we're in trouble now, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's see here. Do we have five cards? Four. That's a bummer. Okay, let's see what the app says to do. Oh, man. Light stick and the underground river are gone, and we are pulling ah, a dragon. Oh, another dragon. And, ooh, Riot, that's a good card. So we need to do a dragon pull here. Still only third. Oh, no. I took an artifact. That would have moved us up one. That would have moved us up one, which actually does put us into four, so... Boy, when did I grab that? Back here? So I think I need to draw two more cubes for missing missing dragons. So I'll just draw six this time. Yeah, I messed that up. I forgot to move it up. Okay, so we'll just draw six to make up for the other two pulls. Because that's all there's been. Uh-oh. There's three. Four, five. And six. Two reds. I had that coming. I'm just going to go ahead and put these two on me and then burn my plus two heal. Well, no, you know what, let's not. Because if I suddenly get rich, I can go to the store and, and, and buy the heals, right? And you have to have at least five damage on you, so if I get one more damage, that's not so bad. Okay, so we have a stumble. Gosh, so much clank going in. I don't know why it feels like so much more than usual. It's not like they're different cards or anything. 
And then we have, if I gain any money, draw a card, gain at least three. I'm not going to gain any money this turn. So let's go to... How many points do we have? We have two skill points again. Well, I guess we buy the Imp Familiar. We'll buy you for two points. We have two boots and two swords. So I guess we come down here for one boot and one sword. Oh, there it is. We found it already? That seems... That seemed fast, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, okay. Well, whoa, how funny. And we are going to gain three dollars. <laughs> okay. So what did it say to do? Draw a card if I gain three or more dollars this turn? So now we have five dollars. See, we're getting there to getting our, our thing. Uh, pillage, if you gain at least three money this turn, draw, draw a card. And now we have even more boots that I don't think we're going to get to use. So we use the sword to get in here. This is the layer tile, so gosh, I keep, I don't want to forget about this. So, move on to the layer tile. Uh-oh, you're finished, Viscountess, you shout, breaking into her throne room. Finished? I've barely begun, and soon there will be no one to stop me, she sneered back at you. I see you've discovered that all your precious relics helped us awaken the ancient dragons. Yes, once I've raised my army of undead dragons, I will rule as queen. She was mad. Guards, she called, and piles of bones assembled into skeletal warriors. Place skeleton and skeleton priest... Near the layer tile, resolve the arrival text, which is all players get plus one clank. Um, and we cannot leave the layer until all monsters here are defeated. Great. Great. Okay, so we have these two jerks, and we have one sword left. So I guess we use it to kill the skeleton, right? Since we don't have two swords, yeah, we don't, we don't have another option here. So... Let's, uh, oh, see, and there, look, there's our two money and plus one clank. So now we have seven dollars. So now, well, maybe this isn't so hard. Famous last words, I'm sure, right? Because according to this, we need to defeat all the monsters in the lair and steal one more artifact, right? And then whatever the gem thing is, right? We got to keep buying gems. That's okay. Cool. Okay, so we can't leave because we don't have... Oh, uh, this sucks. All right. <laughs> we don't have anything else. Okay, so we're stuck there. And the app says... Ooh. End of turn. You were knocked to the floor by the deafening roar of Umbrock Vesna. This was the first time you noticed how terrifyingly human her roar sounded. Now she was here in the caves, closer than she'd ever been before. Remove the dragon marker from the rage track and place it on any tile of your choice. Okay, wait a second. Um, all right, well, I imagine far away from me, right? Uh, what else does this say here? This represents Umbrock Vesna. She occupies a whole tile and ignores paths and rooms when moving. She can occupy collapsed house. Oh, I'm going to move her one more back then. No longer resolve dragon attacks as normal beginning next turn. Okay, after the refill step, next turn. What is next turn? This this was this turn, right? After the refill step, this was the end of the turn, because that's the button we hit. After the refill step, move Umbrock Vesna one tile towards you for each dragon attack symbol on the row. Then, if she is on the same tile as you, perform a five cube dragon attack. Plus dangers. Oh, gosh. And each time rage increases... Instead, move Umbrock Vesna one tile towards you. And we're going to blow up these three. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow. Yeah, see, it says next turn. Starting next turn. I, I suppose this is the next. Oh, put three dragon cubes back in the bag. Remove traps. Thieves shrine. Put three dragon cubes back in the bag. What? And no dragon, no dragon, no dragon, no dragon. Okay, cool. That actually made that very easy to figure out because if I drew a dragon here, I guess she just moves towards me. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I got I need a hand. All right, well, geez. Okay, let's see here. Three, four, five. Oh, I got one sword. Are you kidding me? So I'm stuck here now while this thing is going to just chasing me down? Well, here, take a lockpick, and if you have another companion in your play area, draw a card, which we do now. Boom. 
Booyah, son. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Look at this. So that's minus two clank for me. Thank you very much. I'll be taking those back. And now we have four swords, which is fabulous because we can kill this idiot, right? So defeat, heal one. Oh, and plus one clank. Great. <laughs> okay. So let's go back here. Defeat all monsters on the layer tile. You dispatched the minions and rushed the Viscountess. You plunged your sword to strike only bone? A malevolent grin spread across the Viscountess's face, and it began to slowly melt away to the skull underneath. You fool! You know nothing! To raise a dragon, souls must be given. That old fool of a wizard put my soul into Umbrock a long time ago. My flesh has wasted away, and now I've gathered enough peasants' souls to raise the bones of the ancient dragons. The world will bow before my dragon army. Her bones clattered to the floor. Holy cow! Getting the chills reading this here. Okay, we still haven't done that. Oh, okay. Well, we can move now, which is great. And we still have two swords, so we can kill the animated wall and move. So let's just real quick here for five dollars. Yeah, see, we have seven bucks. We can't, we need to get here. We need to get right here. So, oh, ah, that sucks. I have to use a sword, two swords to get out of this mess. Um, gosh, you know what's even worse? Is that all I have is three skill points, not enough to buy anything, but since I'm here, I am going to pick that, and it is a secret, a major secret, right? Yes. So let's see what is in here. More healing, please. Five, oh, well, now we're loaded, okay. <laughs> all right, we will take five gold any day of the week, though. That's just straight up five skill points, there, or victory points, okay. So we use two swords to kill the skeleton priest. We still have two swords and two boots. So we're going to use one sword and a boot to go right there. Or two swords and a boot to go right there, rather. What in... Oh, no, another stinking ghost tile, man. i got to stop exploring this place. So if we come to... No, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. And the reason why I want to do this is complete malarkey but <laughs> this is what we're doing okay so we're gonna we're gonna pick the lock here to rescue two prisoners i'm gonna keep the stacks even is that what we're doing oh my god the ghost tile dude so now we have four out of five <laughs> ghosts in there <laughs> great oh and then two swords from her that we have to use this turn wonderful okay so i guess well i mean that was one boot that, no, this will work out. So that was one boot that we used. We'll use another lock pick and a boot number two to come up here. We're in the market. We're going to spend $7 on a backpack. Snoogans. Then we still have two swords because we got them from the berserker lady here to kill the animated wall, which gives us another boot, which I'm gonna just go right back in this room the same direction I came out because, because if I can get enough points next time, we can do this gem thing again, right? You feel me? That's the plan, huh? And then we have three points. Um, you know what? As silly as this sounds, do I buy a light stick? Do I buy a light stick? I think so. And the reason why is I feel like I just don't have enough skill points in this deck so far. I have no way to trash any cards, so we need to make every bit count. Next turn. Remove these three cards. Dang it. <sighs> okay, well, here comes a pile of cards. Not a single dragon, though. <gasps> Arrive, all players get plus one clank. Dang it. Okay, well, not a... S yeah, not a single... Three, four, five. Not a single dragon. Ah, oh, draw a card, of course. And here I thought I wouldn't have to shuffle. Okay, well, <laughs> there it is. Acquire a gem and steal an artifact. Now we have a backpack. What do we do for artifacts now? Do we just say to heck with it and grab this ten on our way out? Or do we... Well, I guess that's all going to depend on on what my hand looks like here. So what do we got? We have, yeah, see only three skill points. There's just not enough skill points in my deck to buy all these gems. That is a hard thing to do when you're playing Clank is to afford those gems. Every time they come up, well not every time, but quite frequently when they come up, um, they just, you know, sit there for ages. Okay, what do we need? Draw a card because we have, yeah, 
Draw a card is a Shadow Walk, which is Trash a Burgle. Okay. Oh, I probably have not done this more than once. In fact, I'm sure that I've not done it at least once. It's come to think of it. Okay. So that was probably a good, good, good mistake to make too. So plus one clank. And let's see here. So really, yeah, we have two boots, but only three points again. Like, come on. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So I'm going to remember to burn the burgle now. So I don't forget. God, I should have burned another one. I'm sure I've messed that up. Um, and I'm going to use both boots to go one, two, and I'm just, I, I can't buy it with my three skill points. I just want whatever's in here, right? And then I'll do it next turn again. Two dollars. Ooh, we got seven dollars again, which is great because we can then buy healing if we need it. Or another backpack. We'll just load, we'll take all the artifacts out of here. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's, see how many we can get out of here. Okay, so there's my boots. I have three points to spend. Everything up there is too expensive. I'm going to take an explore. That's what we're doing. I have no swords. Yeah, that was a garbage turn. Okay. Wow, and the dragon hasn't moved, so that's a good sign. Next turn. Oh! Trash all cards in the row. Everything gone. Okay, well, that's... Oh, man. Oh, no. well, we know it's going to move now because we're about to draw some dragons, I bet. Arrive. Each player alone on a square must rotate it to fit a new orientation. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. A ding, a dang, dang, dang. Let's go this way, I guess. Okay. There's a dragon. Oh, well, maybe this isn't so bad. It moves towards me, so it's like I'm getting... Wait, that's super cool, actually. Like, I'm being chased through the dungeon. Arrive, put three dragon cubes back in the bag. That's craziness. All of the dragon cubes are back in the bag now. Wow. Um, and then, so there's one dragon symbol out here, so it, it moves one space closer towards me, but there's no draw yet. That's really wild. What a, that's kind of neat, though. It's like I'm being chased through the dungeon. Okay, three, four, five. Oh, dear God, this is awful. Come on. All right, so there's plus one clink. And then we have the... I have the Imp Familiar, and I'm going to spend a lockpick to draw two cards. Enough of this malarkey. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so the light stick is plus one clink. I'm going to die. And then that's a companion. So this says, take a lockpick and draw a card if I have another companion in my play area. Sidestep. Okay. So that worked out well, I guess. All right, so now we have four boots. And how many points? Three, six points. Okay, so we can do this. We can do this. All right, we're, we're caught up on all of our clank. We have one sword, four boots, and six skill points to spend. So let's go one boot. We're going to take a minor secret, and no matter what, we're buying whatever card that is up top there. Uh-oh, what have I done? There we go. Okay. I kind of want to go to the market and buy another backpack and get really greedy with it. Ooh, look at that. I never used my other heal. I can fully heal myself right now. Well, let's turn in the, the one, I guess. Well, we may as well turn in all three, right? Why not? We're nowhere near getting healed, so let's just keep... Like, well, I guess that's... No, that's a mess to get to. Okay. Oh, the gem, right, the whole point of all of this. Uh, that's going to cost me five points plus two clank, but now we have a rose quartz. And we go back to the app, and we hit this acquire a gem. Acquire a gem. This gem wasn't the dragon stone, but it gave you a feeling similar to the first. It was like the feeling you got in the catacombs' haunted halls. Could these gems have held the souls from the Viscountess's experiments? Did the energy she'd taken from her prisoners end up in there? Of course that's what happened. We know this. Okay. So this is telling me we need as many gems as possible and probably... I need another artifact. Let's, let's go find another artifact. Okay, so that cost us five. That's kind of a bummer. I wish it only cost us two, but three, four, five. Yeah, that leaves us one skill point, so we can't do anything with that. But we still have four boots. And one sword. So we could go... No, we used one boot, right? One boot, two boots and a sword, three boots.
Or we could just make that four boots and just be right there. Oh, I just thought of something. We can completely game this thing. If I don't fill this in, this jerk doesn't have a direct <laughs> direct path to me. <laughs> I'll just play around over here. Wait a second. How funny is that? Okay, so I guess we're done, right? We went one, two, and a sword, three, four. Yeah, that's all we got. Okay, how funny. All right, let's see what the app says. Next turn. Remove these three cards. Black Market, Ogre Merchant, and Sudden Movement. The Loot. The Scavenger, take a minor secret, I like that. And the Blink Spell, oh crud. Okay, so the Blink Spell has a dragon face on it. Oh, wait, something happened. So we're gonna move one closer. If there was no dragon attack this turn, perform a three cube attack plus dangers. Oh great, oh, so you're nowhere near me but I'm still gonna die? Wonderful. Look at all this. And it's a three cube attack though. So at least I won't die, I just healed for three. <laughs> one, two, three. Black, Black, and Max. Poor Max. Those are the first Dragon Cubes out of the bag now. How crazy is this? This is wild. Three, four, five. I actually think I really just stumbled upon something here that this guy would have to walk around. So that's that's interesting. Okay, so what else do we have here? We have... Dang, and of course, now I draw my negative two clink, and I just put it all in the bag. Three burgles. I feel like I should be one less burgle, but it it doesn't feel good fixing it just because I can't remember it very closely, although I'm sure that it's happened at least once. Okay, we'll just be better about it. All that did was hurt me. It didn't it didn't help me any. Okay. Wow, we have one boot and a gang of swords and nobody to kill up here. We only again only three skill points. I swear to you, I feel like I just like it's this. It's the pressure of needing to buy the gems that's messing me up. That's the problem. So, And we still need another artifact, right? So we're not out of the woods just yet. We are not out of the woods just yet. And if I go this way and connect this, so let's say she moved here instead of up there, this would be, well, still safe. But let's just play around over here. Why not? Why not? So we're going to use our one boot <laughs> to go over here. Let's stay far away. Is there a portal anywhere over here? No. See, I'm screwing myself by not having a portal to jump back over, so we're gonna have to cross, pa cross paths at some point. Ooh, is it worth it? I think it is. I think we're just gonna, we're gonna pull the trigger on this. So here's what happens. So we're gonna go... Oh yeah, I've got a gang of swords. I think we're gonna do that, right? Because we were in here, well... Yes, we're gonna go in here and spend a sword, so that leaves us four swords. Uh, and then the artifact, there's a 17. I feel like we have breathing room for days, but let's take it anyway. Let's move her one closer to me. We go back to the app, steal our second artifact, and that's why I moved her closer because it said to do that when you, when you raise the dragon hate. Steal an artifact. As you were snatching the artifact, you began to feel watched. You turned around to find a skull, a disembodied skull floating in front of you. Who are you, you asked. I'm just a failed experiment, lost down here without my body, she answered. But that's ancient history. I came to help you stop the Viscountess. She plans to raise an army of dragons with all the villager souls she's harvested. We need to destroy the stone, her connection to the dragon. Destroy the stone and the Viscountess will be destroyed with it. Acquire floating skull and resolve its acquire text. Okay, hold on. I've got floating skull. Uh, the acquired text is teleport to an adjacent room, so we'll look at that in a second here. Uh, move on to the haunted cave tile. You knew it was time for you to get out of here, but first you need the dragon stone. New goal, move on to the haunted tile. That's the start. I knew we'd have to go. It told us in the beginning. It said you'll have to go back here so you can't collapse it. You must find the dragon stone before you can complete this goal. So the dragon stone has to be one of these gems, huh? Wild. Okay, and the floating skull we just got, it says teleport to an adjacent room... So, and that was our one and only boot for the day. So, do we now... Oh, this will be weird. Do we teleport? Man, you know, I kind of don't want to go this way. I kind of want to just teleport back where we were. Yeah, I think so. And mainly it's because I want to go, you know, zoop. 
I want to, I want to, I want her to get here and then me to book it this way. <laughs> um, all right. So with our three points, we can buy the scavenger, which gives us another minor secret. These little minor secrets have been good to us, but you know what I think? And this is silly. I'm going to buy an explorer. I swear. To, oh, that guy has two also, and a victory point. Yeah, but I need boots too. So let's take an explorer for our three points, and then we have. We used one sword, so we're going to kill the goblin twice. And that's all she wrote. That's, we're done. i got to shuffle this whole stack of cards now. And then we have to figure out what madness is going to happen right now. <sighs> Collapse the nearest square tile. So, and then burn these three. Okay, so... So what we did, uh, we have to collapse the nearest tile. So we'll collapse. Yeah. So we're not we're not going that way. And now we got to pull some 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 cards for the market. Let's see here. We have dragon. No dra Ooh, payoff. That's what I need. And another dragon. So it's going to move two spaces. One, two. Right. So see, that was the good move, I think, because now it's within two spaces of me, and I am one boot away from being on this tile. Uh, we still need a dragon stone, though, and that's... Huh. Okay, well... How do we make that happen? We gotta find... Well, maybe my dreams of, of being uh, filthy rich with artifacts is, is just gonna have to, to not be. Three, four, five... Maybe we need to prioritize getting a gem because that's that's the goal now, right? Is gem to there? Oh, and the portal thing. That, it's like kind of weirdly hidden off to the side. This thing. Yeah. Oh, look at how funny. I even have the option to steal another artifact. Oh, this is wild, man. So it wants it wants every it wants all the things. It wants us to get all the gems, as many artifacts as possible. Oh, how funny! I drew the floating skull. So. And it counts as a uh, a companion. Check that action out, right? Because I have this guy, which says, take a lockpick, and then I can draw a card because I have another companion. Pillage. If I gain at least three gold, draw a card. There's There's a good way to get three gold. Okay, so I have four boots and a teleport, but only friggin' four points. <laughs> oh, and so what do we know about this pile? How many cards are here? So we know that there's a six, two fours and a five, I think, right? Does that sound right? Does that sound right? Hmm, okay. So we're gonna use one boot to come way over here, I guess. Ooh, there's a, whoa, the market. Uh. Okay, we're gonna use a sword and one boot to get in there. I need to mark where I started from. There we go, okay. So we're gonna draw a minor secret. You know I'm totally going to the market, right? A boot. And I'm gonna just hope that we're lucky and that this is two, three, a four. Yes! We're buying it, baby. Look at this. Smoky Quartz only cost me four skill points. I have four skill points. Huzzah. So it's plus two clank. One and two. And then we have to hit hit this, this button that's probably going to say something like collapse the dungeon around you and just deal with losing. <sighs> Acquire a gem. There was a third gem. And hidden with it was a large stone, perfectly spherical and angry red. You felt the alluring power of the gem as you held it, reaching out to you. Two souls called out to you from inside it. One, a strong and scheming woman. The other, a quiet, morose beast. The second felt dead somehow. You knew this was the Dragonstone, the Viscountess's gem. You now have the Viscountess's gem, the Dragonstone. Shuffle the remaining gems into the dungeon deck and heal one, and we're, amazingly enough, fully healed. Move on to the haunted cave tile. So that's, that's all we got left, huh? And now it wants us to shuffle in these three remaining gems, I guess. Oh, that way we can buy them, right? 
Okay. Alright, so move on to the haunted cave tile. So I would ooh, yeah, we could I mean gosh. So how many tiles are left? Three, four, five. Hmm. I think we might oh I, I spun this the wrong way. I was gonna say I wanted to go down. Well, maybe that's not gonna happen. I wanna keep this hole <laughs> and just drag the dragon around the hole. Right? Keep keep her from getting to me. Right? Because I'm only three spaces away. Okay, so what now? So well we have to go here. I feel like we've we've done a lot of good. So let's go, let's go two, right? So that's one boot, three boots. So we have one boot less. We're in the market. I should probably buy a crown. Instead of be, you know what? No, I would normally buy a crown, but the thing of it is, is this. We have the option to steal another artifact. Like it, like it specifically has a spot for that. So normally I would buy a crown, but I don't have any cards that do anything special if I get a crown, right? Yeah. Oh, I can teleport if I have a crown. Wait a second. I lied. I literally just picked up a card <laughs> that says I need a crown. It's not a teleport by itself. You have to have a crown. So I guess, I guess, I guess I need to make five dollars somehow. So how do we do that? Okay, so we still have one more boot. Let's just go. I mean, we could go in here. No, there's nothing about rescuing people in this one, which is kind of weird. It's all about their souls, which is in the artifacts and the gems. So we need artifacts and gems. So we're going to use our... Oh... How in the heck? Okay. Is this really the first way shrine? I didn't mark any others. Oh, dear. <sighs> okay, so. That's a... Tw oh, see, now I don't have the backpack. <laughs> Dang it. So that was one, two, three, four, and it costs... And I used two swords, so I have one sword left, which is no good. That doesn't do me any good. I do have the option to teleport, but teleporting over here does me absolutely no good. So perhaps we teleport over there. What do you think about that? I like it, and I, I like it for... Oh, that's too bad. For all the wrong reasons, though. Okay. <laughs> all right, so we're done. We, we, we did a lot of walking... We spent our four on the, the dragon stone. Oh, we're, we're, oh no, I can't even get in here this way. I have to go up here. Oh no. Oh, and I wanted to mark this. I even said it and didn't do it. Okay, all right, we're done. Let's see what the app says. Next turn. Oh, all the cards gone. Oh yeah, this thing is angry now. Oh yeah, see, we don't have time to play around. As much as I would like to, to rescue all these things and people. Uh-oh, dragon, two dragons. And a danger. Oh god, one, two. Do, if I get a third dragon, I'm screwed. So now it comes one, two, because we have a dragon there and a dragon there, but no drawing from the bags, huh? This is super weird. Okay, three, four, five. So I need one, two, three, I need four boots. I got one boot. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, so that sucks. All right, so we got a stumble. Ugh, it makes my stomach hurt. <sighs> okay, what can we do here? We have one lousy boot. And not enough money. Well, I mean, you know what? We have a load of, of, here, let's do this. Let's, let's do, wait, is there a gem thing? No, it's steal an artifact. I thought there would be like another gem thing to do. Interesting. Okay, well, um, let's let's pick a major secret then since... Oh, that's right, because we shuffled them all in. Now it's just buying them. That's right. Okay, major secret, the map. That means we can, we can ignore arrows now. That's good. I was kind of hoping for the money, though. Um, okay, well, I guess, I mean, we could just move over here. That's actually not an awful idea, really. 
And I say that because it gets me two spaces away from this jerk. Hmm. Right. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to move one space over. I am then going to buy the wishing well for zero, but it costs me all three gold. Yeah, we got to stop screwing around. All three gold. One, two, three. What does it say? Draw two cards. Bingo, bango. Plus one clank. <laughs> but I also drew the white gem. Draw a card and explore. Okay. So the wishing well is gone. Both of our stumbles. The white tourmaline did nothing other than draw a card for us, and we put a bunch of extra clank in there. So we've moved one boot's worth of spaces, right? Right. Now, we drew the explorer so we can move one more boot. I mean, we may as well put this in here. Well, we, you know, we don't have the gold. God, I need one more boot now. One more boot. Or, or I use... Oh, dude. Oh, that's... Well, <laughs> if I go this way with my one boot, my, my explore boot I got, I take one damage, and I don't like the idea of taking damage, but, but it gets me in here, which I can safely do. I mean, at this point, it's just points, so that's two, right? Okay, but, but, but we still have two, three, four, five, six, seven points... Ooh, we have seven points. And, like, I don't know what this game wants from me with the gems, right? Because isn't that a thing? Right? Like, like extra gems. Let's see. Acquire and keep gems in your deck. Steal an artifact. I'm not on a tile with a portal on it. So our last thing is to move on to this tile. We should just do it and see what happens, right? Let's spend our boot potion and walk in here. We heal one, <laughs> and then we click the button. I have no idea. You re-entered the spooky cavern to see it in disarray. Spirits circled the hole in a chaotic ring of white. The stalactites jingled and shook. Some shattered to the ground. Cast the gem into the abyss, the skull called to you. You retrieved the dragonstone and threw it. The gem called to you. No! The Viscountess's furious voice called in your mind. The cavern shook and a new passage opened, but the dragon was still coming. I s only said it would remove the Viscountess's soul, not destroy the dragon, the floating skull offered. Place the starter tile anywhere, connecting the safe zone side to the map. Oh... Dude, and so we have a lot to do still, right? We could do whatever the portal lock thing is. That, that's got to be whatever this top right thing is. Spend to to do something with a portal and steal an artifact and get more gems. Okay, so we got to put this somewhere now? Oh, wow. I mean, do I just stick it right here because I'm super close to it? All right? Why not? Like, I put it up here, but like I don't want to run past the dragon. But if I put it right here... That's legal enough, I think, yeah? What say you, huh? I don't have any problem with that. That's connected, I don't know which side it wants. Does it matter? Nope, not really. Oh, kind of, <laughs> but not really. Okay, so that was our last boot, which actually just put me closer to the dragon. Um, what do we do about these seven points? I think... I don't want to buy it, but I think we should, right? Like, it, the game kind of wants us to have gems, I feel like, right? So there's four points for that, and th what do I do with three points, though? What do I do with three? Oh, and it gets rid of the dragon symbol. I guess I don't need even to buy an explorer, right? Okay. So that's that. I have to do plus two clank, yep, for taking that gem. So there's, <laughs> there's a mess of clank going in. All right, let's hit next turn. Remove these back three. Dang, I really wanted the, the crystal compass. All right, let's see what we've got here. I'm just going to hit the button to see what it says. Yeah, if there was no dragon attack this turn, still do an attack for three. So there's at least one movement. Wow, we are not drawing the dragons this time. Wow, this seems completely contingent upon drawing dragons, and I'm just not drawing them this time. Interesting. But we still have to do an attack of three. I'll live. Somehow I have full hit points. I mean, I did kind of get 
a bunch of heals, right? I got three heals from potions. There's one of mine. Okay, this is weird. There's not a lot of gems out here. I mean, cubes. And what is the Spectral Rider out here for? Five. They had to set this card aside in the beginning, remember? Okay. This is funny. I don't <laughs> Watch me find out somehow that that's like not legal. Um, okay, great. This always happens to me. Minus two clink, and I don't have any clink in here now. Shadow walk, and I don't have a burgle. Okay, oh, I have to draw a card for the gem. Interesting. Okay, so... Gosh. Gosh, 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 gosh. Gosh, 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 gosh. We have a bunch of swords and three... Oh, God, there's another negative two. So I'm at negative four clink. Take a lockpick or spend a lockpick to draw two cards. So I'm... We're sitting pretty fat here, I think. Let's spend a lockpick to draw two cards. One and two. This one's plus one clank, but I'm ignoring because we had so many. Okay. Oh, look it. I didn't even realize that. The th I just saw the dragon symbol when I pulled the cards out. Okay. So we spent the lockpick for this guy to draw two cards. We have negative two clank. Trash a burgle, which I... Oh, I have one now. Okay, so let's trash the burgle. All right, so we'll remember that we're at plus one point. So we have three, four, five, six points. So I'm just going to buy this, which is plus two clank, but I'm still negative three clank. Boom, right? Because that's negative two. That's negative two. And then this was plus one. So we're still at negative one. That was plus two. So we're still at negative one clank. I trashed the burgle already. And this is what we've got. We don't have as much as I thought. Here I thought I would be grabbing a ton. Uh, oh, and we can take the waystone for one, by the way, because we have one point left over, so we may as well. I like that thing. Okay, so we have three boots and three swords, and that's it. Three boots and three swords. So as weird as this sounds, we could go into the way shrine. If I pop that way shrine, it gives me... This is so dumb. I don't want to get myself killed doing something stupid because I could go here and here, <sighs> right? And then and then on our way down here, we could buy a backpack, grab the 20. I don't know where the... We'd, we, well, we can walk backward. Yeah, no, this, this is a dead-end horror show down here. Yeah, we don't want any part of that. Okay, okay, enough screwing around. Let's, <laughs> let's go one step... Two steps into a crystal cave. I use a sword to kill this guy. I have three swords left to kill the goblin once, I guess. That's That was a big turn for... Oh, wow, that was my last card, too. Okay. Yeah, that was a lot of stuff for nothing. Okay, let's see. Next turn. Uh, Skulker goes down. All right, so one... Yeah, we're not drawing very many dragons this time. How funny. I even reshuffled this deck. There's one dragon... Oh, wow, it's like it never caught me, and so it just every now and again... Like, this would be god-awful if my dungeon wasn't so big, you know, and it got right up on me. This would be terrible. So really, all I need is two boots to get out of here. Well, I, I think. It says escape, and I still don't know what, what to do about the portals. Um... We do have one more lockpick. We could... <laughs> we could... Nah, I don't, I don't want to risk it. I do not want to risk it. Three, four, five. This is, this is, we have all the hit points in the world. This is the weirdest game I've ever played. Oh, wow. And we only grabbed one boot in all of that. <laughs> uh, we did draw, so this is minus two clank and draw a card and draw a card. One and, just give me a boot. No way, more burgles. <laughs> oh, but I got a floating skull. So we can, we can move one and teleport one. And then we have two swords, right? So we can... Two, three, four, five, six. So when we're here in the crystal cave, our two swords kill the crystal kobold. Defeat only when a crystal when in a crystal cave or way shrine and gain two skill points. Right. So we killed him here. So that gives us two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. I mean, I guess you know we take a secret tome just because, right? I mean, it's points. And then right, our one boot, our one teleport. And that leaves us nothing. That is it. That is the escape button. So, whew, let's see. 
God, and we never did the portal thing. We never got an extra artifact. I'm kind of bummed about those, but they're extras. I'm barely hanging on here. Oh, that was it. That really was it. Oh, snap. Okay, well, let's see then. What do we have for artifacts? We had a 12 and a 17. And then number of... Oh, I'm going to have to go through and count all this stuff. So let's go ahead. We'll take a break. I'll be right back with the final scoring. Okay, well, it was not the huge scoring games of before, but I, I feel like this was a, was an outlier, um, this, this playthrough here. So we got 20 points for escaping. We had 29 points in the two artifacts. We, we got out of here with five of these gems. I didn't realize I was racking up the gems, right? Look at this. Look at that. That was a bunch of gems, but that's only, what, 8, 9, 17 points there. We had the one secret tome <laughs> for, for 7 points, uh, and then uh, 12 points in other cards over here, and that was really it. It was pretty pretty light. We didn't, we didn't rescue a whole bunch of people, so that was, that was 113. Uh, we had 9 health remaining. That's pretty wild, but, you know, we would have had only 5, maybe a little bit less, too, depending if we didn't get all those heals, which we, like, super lucked out on. So let's see what happens now. B+. Plus. Okay, so that makes me feel not so bad. You and your group are able to collapse the way out. You could hear the terrifying roar of Umbrock Vesna on the other side, but it was muffled and somehow less human. The dragon's still down there, but you rid her of the Viscountess. Her plot is finished, the floating skull proclaimed. When you asked how she knew so much about all this, she laughed and replied, The Viscountess tried to shove my soul into that old bony dragon. You and your ragged group limped out of the caverns to see the Capitol building and confused-looking citizens. The fight with the Viscountess was finally done. And that's, that's it, huh? Like, you go, we have main menu as an option? Story complete, grade B minus. And so it was that our hero, that's you, of course, rode off with a merry troop and a mysterious skull. You'd come a long way from a simple village farmer. You'd become a true adventurer. The kingdom's safety had been secured at last. The Viscountess and her minions had been defeated. One helpless skeleton retired from the boss's corporate ladder and became a traveling storyteller. <laughs> News spread far and wide of your renown, due in large part to the, main, to the many companions and prisoners that traveled with you. But after all these years, in the deep dark, Umbrock Vesna still lurked, trapped and stripped of her human counterpart, but waiting in deadly silence for any adventurer that would enter her catacombs. Wow. That was really fun. That was so much more fun than I thought it was, was going to be. I mean, I mean, for real, this was great. I'm telling you, if they released more of these, like, as DLC packs, whatever, throw them five bucks, throw them ten bucks, and they'll do a whole campaign for solo play, I'd be all about it. And I'm, I'm crushed by the news of, you know, that just came out, like, four days ago that they're going to do a digital clank, because I feel like what happens with these digital games is they put out, like, the vanilla version of the game, and unless it does gangbusters, it gets abandoned. Right? Um, like one that really, really chaps my high. Well, two. <laughs> uh, one of them is is from Cublo or Cubito or somebody. I can't remember who now. Cublo, I think. Um, the original Brass was just abandoned. It's buggy. It's a mess. They should have updated it and fixed it and gave it the fancy new graphics. They did a Birmingham version of it, but it's on Steam and probably on mobile. I don't know. And I don't like that version as much. But, you know, the original Brass version like the, the mobile app and it's on i have it on steam too um was abandoned and they 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 really could use some work on that but then direwolf here didn't they release uh raiders of the north sea and there's no expansions for that and i'm super crushed because that game is fabulous with the expansions without them it's all right like I, it's on par with me um for me it's on par with uh oh god what's the what's the worker placement game in uh like Waterdeep, uh, uh, Lords, Lord, Lords of Waterdeep, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so you know, it's it's kind of that, kind of like a low, low grade, you know, like like not really difficult, you know, like like crunchy game, right? Very very like entry level, which is great. It's a great place for that game to exist. I love it. But you add the two expansions into Raiders of the North Sea, and it's amazing, right? So if we had like Clank, just base game Clank and digital, and they didn't do like a campaign thing, and you know you could play solo, but it would just be against like AI, it would probably be terrible. 
eh, you know, that's f great. It might help get Clank out of your system, you know, when you can't find people to play with, but it's, it wouldn't be as good as if it had Curse of the Mummy, you know, like, like, and forget that. I like, I like Gold and Silver. That's my favorite expansion, right? Or the, the Ape Temple of the Ape Lords, you know, it, all that stuff is so much better Clank than just base Clank. So, um, you know, the, the Sunken Treasures, you know, that, that one probably gets played the least right up there with the Mummy, the two, the, the Mummy one. Th those two don't get played so much with us, but they're still good. We still, you know, play them every now and again. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I can't say enough good about this campaign. I I, I really, really, I don't even know how. Like, like, I'm nobody, but somebody who is somebody, talk to your contact at Direwolf and say, hey, make more of these, right? Because these are, these are so fun, so fun. And they can play out wildly differently. Believe me, this is not the first time that I've had to replay maps, right? I played some of these maps a couple of times and they play out completely differently, completely differently. I have been crushed on some of these maps. Um, the videos didn't get put out because they're less fun because you can see my soul get crushed at some point and, and I stopped talking and it's way less entertaining to watch than like a victory lap, right? Where we actually did, did well. And this one played out nothing like the rest of them did. Let me tell you, I played this one three times before. Um, so yeah, there's the secrets of the YouTube movie magic, right? This is not the first time I played this and I got the, I had one where I won with one hit point. I got out with one hit point remaining I had no cubes here. I barely, like, I, it was unreal. I kept drawing dragons, and so every turn, the dragon was on me, and I could do nothing. This time, somehow, I drew none of them. You know, it played completely differently, but it's, the point is, is that it's absolutely fantastic. It is so good. I was playing, like, practice rounds to see if I could not mess up, and I still think I messed up somewhere in here. I'm sure you all will let me know. So, before we go... I should have brought these guys in, but it occurred to me that it's easier on the overhead to see this little red meeple and this, like, I don't know. I don't know what color this is. It's <laughs> whatever color this is. Um, like, it's not quite teal, maybe? Like a light cyan? I don't know. Um, actual painted minis are a little bit harder to see, right? So you've got my character, right? So I painted the minis from... Clank uh, legacy, right? So I, as, as cool as I want it, I think they are, you know, they're great for in-person play, but not for the overhead here. They're too hard to see. This was the dragon. It's green, so it's, you know, the green screen is messing up the ground there, but it's it's green on the bottom. You can kind of see it coming up through and a little bit of the, the light coming from underneath the cracked ground. I played the dwarf guy, so this was the dude I played. This guy and I took it to the max in the in the, in the legacy game. We did good. Uh, so yeah, this is this was my little guy, but it just doesn't work out. I don't think so well here. I would have to have the camera at like a way different angle, and I think this overhead is better because I get more table space, so you guys can see everything from your point of view. So thanks for watching. Um, this was an absolute blast. I'm surprised that was a B plus. Honest to God, I really thought that would be way way less because the points seemed so low. Um, and before we go, like. Subscribe, please. Comment. Tell me all the things I messed up because, you know, I'm prone to it apparently. <laughs> so, and we will see you in the next game, which, which uh, I already have picked out. It's something nobody's going to like but me. <laughs> all right. Until then, remember that games are made for everyone's recreation. Take care.